In this video, we'll install PowerShell Core on Windows. To install PowerShell on a Windows client or Windows server, download the MSI package from the GitHub page, which can be found at this URL. Once we're at the GitHub page, the first thing we want to do is scroll down to the README section. Once there, under the Git PowerShell section, we can see that we have four columns. The download stable version is intended for everyday, normal use. The preview version contains new features and potentially new bugs, bug fixes for known issues, engine updates and fixes, general commandlet updates and fixes, code cleanup, but it's still undergoing extensive testing and has a bit of development to go before it will be ready for everyday use. One of the great things about PowerShell Core though is we could actually download and install both because they'll install side by side. So if we want to try out the new features, we'd be able to do that. However, in this video, we're just going to download the stable version and install it. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we get the right OS architecture. And in most cases, we'll probably be 64-bit. We just need to click on the MSI. Now we can open it up in our downloads folder. Now we only need to double click on the MSI. On the open file security warning, we'll just click run. And this will launch the setup wizard that will walk us through the PowerShell core install on our machine. On this screen, we'll just click next. And then we'll need to read our license agreement and accept. Click next. We'll accept the default value of C program files PowerShell. Next, we'll enable PowerShell remoting and the open here context menus to explore. Then we'll click next. And now PowerShell core is ready to install. If you get this warning from the UAC, just click yes, and then it's on its way. From here, we'll just click the finish button and exit the setup wizard. Close out our downloads folder, and now we'll launch a command prompt. From here, we only need to type pwsh.exe, and this will launch PowerShell Core. To check our version, dollar sign, PS version table. From here, we can see that the version of PowerShell running is 6.1.0, and its addition is Core. We can also use PowerShell Core in VS Code. Just make sure that you have the PowerShell extension installed and enabled. Here you can see that version 5.1 is the PowerShell engine currently being ran by the terminal. We can verify this by doing the PS version table once again. To switch the version that's being currently ran by the terminal, we only need to click down where it says 5.1 at the bottom. From here a menu will drop down and we see all the versions that are available to us to run in our terminal session. We can see that we got switched to PowerShell Core 6 as one of our available options. And if we click that, It'll restart the terminal, and then from here, we'll once again do our PS version table. And we can see that it's switched to version 6.1, and the addition being core. Our PowerShell core install is ready to use. And this has been how to install PowerShell core on Windows. Thanks for watching.